Tell them about the rabbits, Daddy. Do I get to tell the rabbits when we get to the new farm? Yes, it will be your job to tell the rabbits. And Mommy and Little Billy, is there already waiting for us? Yeah, they are waiting for you there. You must eat something. I'm not hungry. We have a long way ahead of us tomorrow. Oh, easy there, Pilgrim. Who are you? Are you alone? All alone. What do you want? I, I saw your fire and uh, I was called. And I hoped that you would be a good Samaritan. Where is your horse? You are not exactly dressed for walking these hills at night. I was kicked out of the stagecoach. And I haven't been walking for hours. And I am uh, hungry too. Why was you kicked out? That's uh, quite embarrassing. I was, I got drunk, and um, but the long walk has sobered me up. Those beans uh, look mighty good. Help yourself. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. What about her? She hasn't eaten for days. I'm afraid she won't last the night. <laughs> I forgot my manners, manners too. My name is uh, Jeremiah. You don't look like no Jeremiah to me. <laughs> the name Jeremiah? Yahweh? The Hebrew name for God? And I don't look like no preacher, you mean? And you're right, of course. But my mother, God bless her soul, was very religious and she had high hopes for me. And here you are, a drunk, thrown off the stagecoach. Jeremiah Caleb at your service, traveling salesman. And not very successful either, I'm afraid. Where is her mother, your wife? You talk a lot. <laughs> Sorry, habit of the trade. She needs medicine. And the only thing I have value is this fine watch. 
I will trade it or sell it for some medicine in town tomorrow. Her mother, my wife, and her little brother are both gone. The fever. The bank took the farm. She was helping out at my brother's place when they died. I didn't have the heart to tell her. So I made up this story. They had gone ahead to the new farm. Stupid, of course. And as you might already have guessed, there is no new farm. Moonbeam is watching over us tonight. Moon? Who? Moonbeam? Don't you know the legend of the Indian princess Moonbeam? She wasn't a real princess, as the Indians don't have a royal tradition. But it adds flavor to the story and makes it sound better. People don't want to hear about the skinny Indian girl called Little Beaver. Anyway, the legend has it that... <laughs> I need some fire water for this story. These hills are haunted, you know, by the mighty medicine man, Chalaco. <coughs> That's bad medicine. Just what it is, bad medicine. Anyway, the legend has it that he was corrupted by the power he gained in the great hunger that strike during the coldest winter in man's memory. He told the tribe that virgins had to be sacrificed to please the gods. He himself would deliver them, and what he did to them, you can only imagine. The hunger situation didn't get any better, and he kept claiming the tribe's virgins until there was none left, except the chief's daughter, Moonbeam. She brings a knife to kill the medicine man, and she cuts out his eyes. So he, according to the Indian mythology, is destined to forever walk between the winds. So whenever somebody wakes up blind after drinking some bad fire water, they say that Chalaco has taken their eyes. Daddy, 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 wake up Daddy. The bastard. He stole my watch. Who are you talking to, Daddy? The fever. It's gone. I am hungry. Fifteen inches deep, yeah. That should be fine, I reckon. I had to put it six feet under, and I can still hear her complain. I just talked to this man last night. No, must have been somebody else. This man here, this is Jeremiah Caleb. He's been hanging here for two days now, to warn off others of his kind. His kind? Miracle salesman, traveling medicine show, offering miracle cures, snake oil that will cure you of any condition. Jeremiah Caleb here, also known as the medicine man, he sold some bad medicine. And people in town, they died. Jeremiah Caleb, medicine man, Jesus Christ. Mm.